you'd probably be crazy to not want to play Jesse Owens. He's uh, obviously an incredible, incredible man who did extraordinary things in a, in a time where a lot of people didn't think that that was possible, that he could go to Berlin, Germany, and, and uh, accomplish such great wins. So, you know, for me, it was a no-brainer. I was like, Jesse Owens, Olympic great, world hero, absolutely. Jesse's daughters are still alive. They're wonderful. Uh, you know, we spent a lot of time together before, during, and after filming, and, uh, you know, they were very helpful, instrumental to the whole process, um, and telling me, you know, what kind of man the father was, what kind of father he was, um, you know, so that, that sort of helped me build up, you know, the type of person that I was going to portray. Um, but then you look at physically, I had to also train, obviously, to, to be this, you know, this great Olympic runner. Uh, so two months prior to filming, I was, I was in Georgia, uh, you know, filming in Atlanta, and I would just, uh, on my off days, you know, filming, I would just be training to play Jesse. So I would go down to Georgia Tech and uh, hang out with the uh, track and field coaches there, and, and they would train me basically twice a, twice a day, um, you know, and I had to learn how to, to not only run fast, but then to run like Jesse. Uh, you know, so, you know, what did he look like when he started the race? What did his stride look like? What did his face look like when he ran? Uh, so, you know, those are the little things I had to pay attention to, you know, just, just the, you know, the, the devil's in the details, so I had, to, I had to get in there. Growing up an athlete myself, I, uh, you know, I certainly found a lot of things in the, in, the, in the film that, you know, I really, really related to. Um, you know, I didn't even, it didn't even really click to me uh, until seeing the film for the first time. I was like, you know, any athlete can really be inspired by, by this. And it doesn't even have to be an athlete. I mean, it's such an inspirational, hopeful uh, sort of story that, you know, I think that it speaks to so many different uh, types of people. Um, you know, I think if you're a history buff, this is something you'd, you'd probably like. I think if you're a sports person, this is something you'd like. And anybody who has any type of drive or any type of uh, vision to achieve anything great, I think can take that from this film. It's, it's so interesting because obviously in 1936, there's only so much documentation of, of, of Jesse. And, you know, so I had to really sort of scrape for what was there. And then, like I said, talking to his family, uh, you know, to sort of fill in the gaps of what I didn't know. So I think the biggest challenge for me was uh, trying to bring a level of uh, humanity to, you know, a person that we didn't really see too much, uh, you know, on a, on a personal basis. So uh, just trying to tap into who he was as a person so I can, you know, help teach people about him. You know, I think Jesse always used his family sort of as, as motivation for him. Um, you know, he knew that he was special. He knew that, you know, amongst, you know, all the children that his, his parents had, that, you know, he really had a chance to make something of himself. So I think he really took that upon himself and really took that on his shoulders. Uh, you know, he rose to the challenge of, of, of supporting his family, supporting his daughter, who he had at the time, supporting his wife. Uh, so I think they, you know, in turn were, were motivation for him, you know, even if they didn't realize it. Coach and, and Jesse's relationship, it was so interesting because Coach Larry didn't really see color, you know. He, he was somebody who uh, was essentially colorblind. He just saw fast and slow. And he realized that Jesse was a talented individual. He didn't care whether Jesse was black, whether Jesse was white. Uh, you know, and I think he helped prove that to Jesse uh, that, you know, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what people are saying. It doesn't matter, you know, where you're from. Uh, you're great. And you have the, you know, the, you have all the tools it takes to, to, to be the greatest athlete of all time and to, and to go over there and really, really prove a point. So I think that that really gave Jesse a different perspective than, you know, what a lot of other people were saying to him. When I think of a hero, I think of somebody who inspires people. Um, and I look at Jesse in 1936, and I don't know if there would be a, um, a Dr. King in, in 1960s if there wasn't Jesse Owens. I don't know if there would be a, a John Lewis afterwards. Um, you know, when you look at somebody like that who inspires generations and generations of people, and, uh, you know, his words and, and the things he's done still resonate with people today. And that message carries forward. I think that you've got to look at him as a hero, not just an American hero, but a world hero. Jason was great. Jason's like, he's obviously super funny. Um, uh, 
you know, just Jason and I connected right away just because he's a he's a huge sports sports buff and and we both grew up on sports, basketball and, and football and stuff. So, uh, you know, we, we knew what it was like to be coached, you know, to have a coach and to be an athlete. So on both sides of, of the coin and uh, right away we connected and we were able to sort of bond and, and you know, and as the film, as we as we, you know, we're, we're making the film, uh, Jason and I only got closer, and I think that that just helps in the whole story as Jesse and Larry got closer. It's it's just so inspiring, you know. It's just such an inspiring, inspiring tale of of of, of perseverance and and uh, and focus, determination, and and somebody who you know who just who really he just did it for the love, the love of it all, you know. When it when it boils down, black, white, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, he's somebody who really just went over there and did something he loved and essentially changed the world without even knowing it. So, you know, to me, I just, you know, I walked out of that film feeling inspired, you know, more than anything. When people see the film, I, I really hope that, for one, they're inspired and encouraged to accomplish great things, you know. I think that if Jesse could do what he did in a time like that, then anyone can feel encouraged to do, you know, to do anything and to accomplish great things. Um, and then again, to just pursue things you love uh, and not let anybody uh, jade it for you or, or take that love away from you. You know, if you have a dream and you have something you so desperately want, um, I think that this film will inspire you to, to chase that, no pun intended.